Hey guys, Simone here. Welcome to another movie day. Today I'm going to watch Captain America Civil War. This is my most anticipated movie of the year. Um, I'm going to watch it in IMAX 3D because what other way to experience your most anticipated movie of the year than IMAX 3D? Um, I'm wearing my Avengers t-shirt. I wore the same t-shirt last year for Age of Ultron, but I kind of felt weird since we couldn't really consider that Spider-Man was part of the MCU. But with Civil War, Spider-Man is now in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as well as the other characters, so I'm excited to check this movie out. I'm going to head to the theater in a few minutes, and I'll see you guys there. Like always, relate for the movies. You just started a war. Stay down. Final warning. I could do this all day. All right, I've run out of patience. Well guys, so just a few hours ago, I experienced my most anticipated movie of the year. Um, I was running a little bit late, but I got there by the time of the last trailer was on screen. I saw Captain America Civil War and IMAX 3D. And yes, I actually did keep the glasses. <laughs> um, I don't know, I kind of wanted a souvenir from me watching my most anticipated movie of the year NIMAX 3D. I'm going to review this film, don't worry, this review will not contain any spoilers. I don't work that way, I don't like to spoil movies for others. Um, so let's get to the review. So Captain America Civil War is the very first movie in Marvel's Phase 3. We've been done with Phase 2 ever since Ant-Man. Um, this follows after the events of Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man. And what basically this movie's about is um, Avengers, every time they're, you know, saving the city or the day, um, they cause a lot of destruction, which causes a lot of people to die. And the government basically goes up to Avengers and he he's all like, I don't think you guys should save the you know the city every time because you're causing a lot of people to die so we want you guys to sign a contract saying that whenever help is needed we'll contact you guys to so the avengers could finally assemble and the government only wants them to only assemble when they he when they think it's necessary and captain america's over here he's all like you know this is the reason why we formed the avengers to save um, whenever anybody else can't save the day, this is why the Avengers are here for, and Captain America doesn't think this is a very good idea. On the other hand, we have Iron Man, he's all like, you know, we should do this because it could save millions of lives, and it could be ben um, beneficial. And this movie basically does have um, controversy between these both characters, um, which leads them to other Marvel characters to choose their sides with Iron Man 
or Captain America. And aside from that, we also have another, uh, it's not like another plot plot line to the movie, but it, they basically connect. If you watch the movie, they basically do connect. Um, Bucky, ever since the Winter Soldier, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, he is also causing half this destruction. You know, he's basically considered a terrorist at this moment. And they're also trying to go after Bucky because of everything he's doing. And this movie is just amazing. Um, the performances are great. Um, you know, Iron Man, we already know the performances for Iron Man. We got three Iron Man movies, so we don't have to go over Iron Man because, you know, Robert Dowie Jr. is great Iron Man. Chris Evans is a great Captain America Scar jo Scarlett Johansson as the Black Widow is amazing. Um, you know, performances are very good in this movie. But what I really want to focus on performances are for characters that we still haven't seen in the MCU till today. And that is Black Panther and Iron Man. Black Panther, he has a strong reason to be in this movie. When I first saw that he was going to be in this movie, I was like, why is he in this movie? Shouldn't we be saving him for his... Black Panther movie and it totally makes sense why this character is in this movie he he has a reason to be in this movie and a very good reason and we also have um, Spider-Man who Tom Holland when they first casted him I wasn't mad but I just thought he was an okay choice as Spider-Man but my god I was wrong because even though we only saw about Five minutes of Peter Parker and 15 to 20 minutes of Spider-Man in action. Um, actually not five minutes of Peter Parker, around seven minutes actually. Um, even though we didn't see Spider-Man as long, I do have to admit Spider-Man, this Spider-Man right here, he is just awesome. I think he could top with his solo movie coming out next year. I think he could top Tobey Maguire as probably the best Spider-Man. And I did like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man in the Amazing Spider-Man movies. And I think that all three people who've been selected to play Spider-Man are really good performers. And so far, Tom Holland, I know it's going to be crazy to say this, but he's probably my favorite Spider-Man yet. He just does a amazing job capturing this character and bringing Spider-Man to the MCU was a great idea because they really do get to capture a little bit more of the character from the comics and the action sequences in this movie are spectacular again I did see this movie in IMAX 3D we'll get to the IMAX and the 3D in a second um the they're just well well made action scenes my only problem with this movie probably the whole entire movie is the shaky cam which only gets used for basically two scenes but it's not that annoying. It's actually pretty fun, even though it is shaky cam. Um, just beautifully made action sequences. Some of the best action sequences I have ever seen. So by the time that I bought my ticket to this movie, I've been reading reviews of the 3D version of this movie. A lot of people didn't think that the 3D was well utilized in this movie. But I watched in 3D open-minded um, in IMAX 3D. And the 3D was spectacular. It really does a really good job, you know, capturing um, these action sequences in 3D. For example, the best 3D sequence was the airport scene, especially with Spider-Man swinging around. His legs literally come right at you. The 3D is amazing. I say the 3D is very fun and amazing 3D viewing experience. So that's basically 10 out of 10 in 3D experience. Now, I'm running out of time, so I'm, I make a different video on this on IMAX but the IMAX let's just say the whole e airport sequence is filmed in IMAX and that's just amazing definitely check this movie out in IMAX it, even though it's that one scene that's basically filmed in IMAX it's amazing check it out because the IMAX experience is worth it so let's wrap this up I might watch this movie again with my friends next week I cannot wait if I do um the only problem I had was the shake cam probably second time I watch it around I'll probably try to capture more problems with it but for right now the movie is a 10 out of 10 or an a plus my favorite movie of the year so far is utopia just got beaten out but okay anyways if you watch this movie tell me what you think about it if you watch in 2d 3d or imax 3d anyways thank you very much for watching and bye